Hey guys, welcome back to another 3D printing video and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to look at nozzle sizes because I've always been kind of curious and never really got to play around with different size nozzles. So in this video I want to try out the different diameters and see what kind of results we get. So I got this nozzle kit from Amazon and I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Check it out. Quite a few different sizes here. Let's go ahead and just go through them one by one. So we got one millimeter and that's quite a large hole there. We got a 0.8 and you guys can see there's two of each. 0.6. 6.5 and the common one which is 0.4 which is the one that every printer comes with and there's a bunch of them so there must be a reason why this size is so popular and we'll find out we also got 0.3 so going down is also quite interesting all the way down to 0.2 and this is the last one here and this is the smallest size and the hole on this thing is ultra tiny I don't even think you guys be able to see it but yeah this is a super fine nozzle here so it'd be quite interesting to see how that prints out but yeah I got all the nozzles here so I think we'll just start with the 0.2 because that's quite interesting to me and we'll go up from there on each print and I think the best print to print would be a benchy since it's a benchmark we'll be able to see pretty well of how each nozzle does and the printer we're using here is the Creality Ender 3 version 2 by the way guys if you are looking for a printer this one is a great choice so I do have a review of it where I unboxed it and set it up so check that video out but in any case let's go ahead and power it up get these nozzles off the bed so the film that we'll be using is this kind of gray PLA and the reason I'm choosing this kind of like primer looking gray it's like a light gray is because it's quite monotone and you can really see just how the layers go down a lot easier with this kind of filament so this should be a pretty good test filament here for this project. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up a bit here. So what we need to do, since we have the stock 0.4 nozzle in there, is we need to pull it out and there's a silicone sock on this printer. So I'm gonna pull that out. And you can use a wrench that comes with the printer, which is this thing here. And you're just gonna go counterclockwise to unscrew it and it should come out pretty easily. Now if yours, you know, doesn't unscrew too easy, try preheating the heat block and as it's heating up, go ahead and try to break it loose because the tip will stay cold while the heat block starts heating up and that should release it quite easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it and we'll grab one of our 0.2 nozzles and I don't know if you guys can see but that hole is just ultra tiny. So this is half of a 0.4 which is the normal. It'll be quite interesting. So yeah, I'm just gonna start hand tightening but I also do have this more nicer wrench that I can use to tighten it up here. And that's it. Then we can just put our silicone sock back on, make sure it's nice and in there. And that's it, and we're pretty much done. So one thing to consider, even though all these nozzles seem to be the same height, there might be a little bit of variation between the different kinds. So obviously I got the nozzle that's compatible with this printer, but just keep in mind you might have, you know, a micro difference between being maybe too long or too short. And so you might have to adjust the bed. So I went ahead and pre-sliced the models and put them on the SD card. So let's go ahead and go to print here and choose the 0.2 Benchy. And I'm gonna jump to the slicer here in a second and show you guys exactly what to do to print with different nozzles, which is very simple. And I'm not gonna be doing anything different with slicing except for the compensation for the nozzle size so we're gonna still be printing at 50 millimeters a second 200 on the temperature 60 on the bed so pretty standard for what I print usually so as this is heating up I'm gonna go ahead and run our filament down all right so now that the nozzles hot I'm gonna go ahead and purge it and we should be good to go and man this stuff is thin as hair look at that so yeah this is going to be quite interesting for sure and away it goes. So it appears that we're pretty much perfect off the bed, so that's a good sign. So that means I have no issues with clearance. And away we go. All right, so everything looks good and it's printing away. So everything does seem a lot more finer since of the smaller nozzle, but yeah, so I think for the next part, we're gonna jump to the computer and I'll show you guys real quick how I sliced these models. All right, so here we are at the computer and we got Cura open. So let's go ahead and drag our Benchy in. So this is the normal kind of settings that, you know, we use all the time. So our layer height is at 0.2 and the nozzle size is right here, which is 0.4. Now everything else is very basic and the normal parameters that I always have on every printer I review. So nothing new here. I mean, sometimes the retraction is tweaked a bit 
but I'm going to leave everything the way it is with all the models we're going to print here. So since we're going to start with the 0.2 nozzle and then go up, what we're going to do here is we're going to change the line width here, and this is our nozzle size, to 0.2. So you guys can see how it all turns orange. I'm not too sure exactly why it does that, but I guess it thinks that maybe it's, you know, not completely correct or whatever. But here's what you got to also change. Not just the nozzle here, but you also have to change the layer height. But the layer height is always going to be the same on every nozzle, meaning we're going to use half of our nozzle. So since before we had 0.4, this is normal here, the 0.4 nozzle, it's going to be half of that at the layer height of 0.2. Well, since we're going down to 0.2 now, we're going to have half of that which is just 0.1 so you're always just going to have half of your nozzle so if our nozzle is 0.2 that means our layer height is going to be 0.1 so the next nozzle we'll be using is 0.3 so our layer height will be 0.15 which is half of 0.3 and that way every time the nozzle goes through every layer on the benchy it's going to be exactly half of the bead of what it can make so this is you know a good practice to have for every nozzle to get the best quality out of it is have at least half of the layer height. So let's say if our nozzle is going to be a 0.6, we're going to make this half of 0.6, which is going to be 0.3, and so on and so on. So 0.8 would be 0.4. Now, if you did want to clean up the resolution, obviously you can, you know, go 0.2, but that's going to take a lot longer because there's a lot more layers in between on the z-axis. But for this test, we're doing exactly half of each one. So at 1.0, which is the biggest one we're going to use, we can do 0.5 for that. And as you guys can see, it doesn't like any of that at all because it's becoming kind of out of spec I guess but here on the initial layer this is going to be the first layer so you can obviously adjust this also with the layer height if you feel like you need to so I actually will leave mine at just 0.2 I think it should be fine for pretty much everything in any case guys hopefully that made sense so if we slice this as you guys can see here it says 35 minutes is how long it takes so let's go ahead and print them all out and we'll see how they turn out guys so after many many hours of printing these are all our benches with the different nozzles so I've actually learned quite a bit from this process here and if there's one thing to take away is that the 0.4 nozzle is actually a perfect medium between the smaller ones and the larger ones meaning that it seems to do the best with the resolution or the definition of the model which is the quality of the print slash the amount of time it takes to print in so since all of these benches have been printed at the same settings except for the nozzle size
guys it's quite interesting the kind of results that we got now this is not to take away from all the other nozzles I think there's some fine tuning to do as you go to different nozzle sizes you know for like stringing and resolution and overlaps and things like that so what I did here was just a basic 0.4 nozzle setting on all of them just changing the nozzle so but after all this I am very impressed with a few nozzles so let's look at the extreme side which is the 0.2 here and the 0.2 is really nice now this does take a long time to print of five hours for this print it does have the better resolution as you guys can see but the amount of time that it takes it doesn't seem like it's worth it and the reason for that is because we do have a mini 0.2 here and it looks really nice but we also have a mini 0.4 so this is a 0.4 nozzle also a very tiny benchy so this is the 0.2 and this is the 0.4 I got a little mark underneath so the 0.4 is not much worse than the point two and even maybe better in some aspects I'm not sure but anyways you guys kind of get the idea that the 0.4 nozzle is quite superior for what it can do now another nozzle that I kind of liked was actually the 0.6 nozzle which is this one here and I feel like you know if you need to print prints faster the 0.6 nozzle is a really nice nozzle you guys maybe can see a little better the layers there so this print does need to be adjusted for retractions a bit, but other than that, it's a pretty solid print and it saves quite a bit of time, which takes only one hour to print this. So it literally slices half the time off of the 0.4 benchy here and they practically look identical. Obviously our resolution ain't gonna be the same because if we look at the stair step, the 0.6 has a lot bigger steps than the 0.4 so but depending on what you're printing I feel like the 0.6 is a really nice medium for getting the good quality and cutting half the time off of the print so for me I feel like the 0.4 can still do everything I always wanted as far as details concerned unless I'm printing very precise miniature things then I would just go straight to 0.2 and not even bother with the 0.3 even though 0.3 is beautiful also it just doesn't make sense unless that little bit really is needed but 0.6 here is quite useful for faster printing of more generic items now as we go up to 0.8 and 1.0 so here we have 0.8 and 1.0 it gets a little bit sloppy for sure and unless you're printing something really really crude you probably won't want to go this route the resolution the stepping and everything is just too large unless you're printing really large items and this is why we have this big benchy here and this is actually printed at 1.0 nozzle and you guys can see maybe you can see all the layers here so if you're going large a larger nozzle could make sense because the resolution all of a sudden doesn't matter as much because of the larger diameter so again depending on what you're printing and how well the quality needs to be because you know if you're printing and then you're going to have to process the model anyway like sand it down and paint it and whatnot else then it maybe doesn't really matter and using a larger nozzle could be very time saving because a benchy like this being this large only took two hours to print compared to 0.4 which is also two hours so you guys can see the difference is quite large in the material that the printer puts down in the same amount of time having different nozzles so this is quite an interesting experience for me because this gives me an idea of what prints I should print with larger nozzles and which ones I should print with smaller nozzles so even looking at these two tiny little benches here the 0.4 nozzle takes half of the time that it takes the 0.2 nozzle to print when you're small like that it doesn't make a huge difference but when you start going larger the difference is much bigger kind of like this 0.2 benchy here is five hours but then this 0.6 one that I really like is only one hour so we cut off four hours and we pretty much have the same results obviously we have much better resolution with the point two but you get my point here so depending on what you're printing and what it's for the nozzles play a big role in how much time it takes to print in any case guys hopefully this was interesting for you as it was for me this is a little bit different than what I normally do and thought I'd explore the different nozzles and kind of get an idea of what it's like to use them and you know if you want to try it yourself these are not too expensive and it's quite a fun little project and it'll kind of open your eyes and make you think a little differently about printing and resolution and speeds and, and nozzle types for the different projects so hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did then hit that like button if you want to pick up the nozzles tips for yourselves i'll have some links in the description check it out also check out all the other 3d printing videos that i got including this ender 3 version 2 and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace